I'm Hugh Black. I'm an arable farmer in Carmyle in Angus. Uh, here we grow potatoes, wheat, oilseed rape, oats and malting barley, as well as honeyberries. Potatoes is our main crop in our uh, rotation and with that it can pose a lot of problems for regenerative soils and looking after the soil structure and soil health. I've joined the group with the other four farmers for farming for a better climate. Uh, in this we're trying to achieve better soil structures and more regenerative farming methods to the benefit of all. We are trying to remove the, the hurt that we're creating on the soils and recover them as fast as we can back to healthy strong levels for the rest of the five, six year rotation. We have a conventional and a slightly minimum approach to tillage. We have still currently plough for potatoes, wheat and oats and all the cereals apart from the oilseed rape. Uh, with the rape, we try and establish this steed immediately after combining the oats, uh, within a day or two if we can, uh, using a subsoiler and placing the seed behind the leg on a scattered system, a very wide row, to try and establish a very quick establishment, strong rooting, great light penetration to the base of the plant. Uh, we've done this for the last eight, ten years perhaps. We are, will be looking at extending that non-ploughing cultivation throughout the rotation, as and when we can if it suits. Uh, cover crops are something that we've started uh, working with in the last three or four years. Greening helped push us into that and what we learned quite quickly was that there's an added benefit that we didn't realise we were going to achieve. We're now actually adding cover crops everywhere and wherever we can in behind our the combine if it's for a spring cultivation establishment. So that's something we are, we're feeling is better in the soils. We're definitely finding that the rooting structure is making the land more like a lay which we never have here at Batbooth because we don't have livestock or grass in the rotation. We've also started monitoring the way we sample our soils to try and get the balances of our soils to where they should be. That's improved our friability of the soil quite quickly in the last three years. We've gone into honeyberries. It's a new project for us entirely. There's wonders for the soil structure because we've established an orchard which should last for 10 to 20 years. So we've got grass strips up in between the berries, capturing carbon, increasing worm counts, doing all the right things. But we still have a long way to go in the, in the learning of how we're doing it and, and also the true effect of what we're doing. Is it actually making it more friable or is it just the better seasons that we're having?